I'm pretty sure this is a thing shared in our collective memory that when we were kids we would run in circles in the pool until it became a whirlpool. But now that I'm 100,000 years old, I don't want to be putting in all that effort, so what if the pool could just become a whirlpool? Whirlpool. I had found some super cheap fountain pumps, so that's the gist. I'm using a set of fountain pumps to line the border of the pool to keep the water moving, ideally faster and faster. I built this crazy contraption to hold a few of the pumps in place underwater. This old pull-up bar is also the right shape, so in it goes to hold another one of the pumps. And also there's another one here. With this, we are online with our whirlpool. See how pretty that is? This may have to be a permanent fixture, but I am cautiously pessimistic that this will work, but we gotta give it a little bit of time to see if it'll cooperate. And in the meantime, you'll be happy to know that I am committed to not being shirtless on camera. So I'm gonna go buy a swimming shirt. Should we go on an adventure? Yeah! Don't worry, I'll map us. Not pool shirts. Not to be worn. Shorts. Well, this isn't working. All right. Look, there's the pool. Is this a whirlpool? Yeah. Oh, good, we're already done. So plan B, if this was inevitable, I am going to run in circles around the pool in hopes of actually finishing it as a whirlpool and seeing if this will keep it going. That's the play. What do you think? Yeah. It's gonna be real cold. Should I jump in anyway? I'm about to get on there and jump in. Oh, that's a good plan. All right. Do it, Daddy. One, two, three. Whee! <laughs> I'm not convinced it created much of a current and doing it this way has some definite issues, but it did feel like it started doing at least something after a while. I feel like it's kind of working actually. Anyway, we got distracted and it was back to the drawing board. As you can see, my pool is not going to be the ideal shape for whirlpool making. This little section over here is going to want to do its own little inner whirlpool. Any and all splashes I was making while swimming in circles will just kind of create these ripples and mess up the whirlpool. So, the next endeavor was to use the pool sweeper and then the pool net to try to create a faster current and see if the pumps would maintain it. It felt like it maybe helped slightly, but of course, we need to do a real test. And that's where the Bodhi Wodies come into play. Borrowed these from Buddy, and they're going in. This little segment has three takeaways. One, it's pretty easy to see that the pool pump isn't working in this clip. It turns on and off, and that's wrong, especially since it's mostly off. Hence the not quite right colorization of the pool. Two, despite that, the boats are actually kind of doing laps, which means the fountain pumps I added are doing something. Three, one of my buddy's boats sank right here. Whoops, bye bye boat, gone forever. Fixing the pool pump was both difficult and boring, so we're just gonna skip ahead to this part where it's finally working. But you can see in this clip where it's just the pool pump running that it would barely even qualify as a lazy river for snails that fall in, so the fountain pumps definitely do help. And now that we have that added power and the eventuality of a clean pool, it's time to do a real test. And now that it's dusk, it's time for the truer true test. Shiny balls. There we go. Not only is this a solid excuse to use these fun, glowy balls, but they also act as a good way to watch the actual movement of the pool water, particularly once the lights go off. From the looks of it, we've ascended past having a lazy river for snails into just having a lazy river. It's kind of therapeutic watching glowing balls spin in circles. I may have to make a loading icon out of this. And you're probably thinking at this point, glowy balls spinning in a circle, that's probably the finale. Well, I'll have you know, I've been making some modifications, and I don't want to sound immodest, but I am the greatest ever. Check this out. Whoa. Wowie. Whoa. Look at that circular motion. Look at that. Oh, modifications over there. Oh, that's so much better. All right. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that's to crack open a nice, cold, generic bubble water and take a ride. Jokes aside, it is way better. I made sure all the pumps were actually on their highest power setting and repositioned all the pumps to maximize the current on the top of the water because, you know, that's where the floaty stuff floats. Usually when I test things I make, I have to risk life and limb, get shot in the face with nerf darts, or at least suffer mental damage. 
testing this out was quite a nice change of pace. Which brings us to what I'll call Relaxation Simulator, where you too can pretend you're able to just rest and enjoy your surroundings, and not think about all those important tasks you have looming over your head, and how soon you have to have them done, and having those thoughts spiral in a whirlpool-like fashion. But check that out! How's that for a wrap-up? We made it back to whirlpools. So I would not say that this is a whirlpool by any stretch, but this is a pretty great lazy river and is by far the most relaxing thing I've done in the last long while. So with that, we're calling it a win and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, internet.